Welcome back to the Woodworking Shed. In today's video, we're going to be making this bowl from Sycamore with some red and black colouring. So you watch me turn the back of the bowl and now it's time to do the front and this is where the, the fun comes in. So what have I done so far? Well sycamore blank and I've rounded the back, sanded it down to uh, 800 and then applied sanding sealer, uh, three coats of sanding sealer and then three coats of Hampshire Sheen original. And I've left the tenon on the back, so we can turn that off later using the Longworth chuck that I made. Um, but so I've created an actual nice foot on it. And um, now it's time to flatten off the front and start the colouring. So with that now sanded back to 800 and I've cleaned it all up, um, I've applied some masking tape around the, uh, the, on the outside just to try and stop any paint or sorry dye from, from going around onto the back. Shouldn't be a problem because it's, it's been waxed but I'll just sort of try it and see how it goes. Right so now what I need to do is to apply the black. So just turn the lathe slowly. It's like one of those um, spiral patterns, you know, the ones that kind of hypnotise you. Anyway, let's get it covered. Right, let's leave that to dry. Okay, now it's dry. Um, I'm going to sand it back. Right, so that's resanded back down to 800 and most of the black has now gone. Now, clearly you can see that there's still a big section in the middle, uh, but that's all going to get turned away anyway, so I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is this edge here. Um, so, right, so today I'm going to be using Ruby. Um, going for a really dark, dark red on this. I'm going to try applying this with the, uh, with the spray bottle. Let's just spin the, spin the lathe up. Quick test, see if it's. Okay, so that's the red dry, or at least dry enough for what I want now. So now I'm going to apply another coat of black, but not going to do it all over. Um, that'd be a bit pointless. I'm going to try and. Um, apply it using a sea sponge so the aim the idea is take the black and just spray a bit onto it and then very lightly leave that to dry. Right that's all dried now and now what I'm going to do is apply another coat of red over the top of that. Um, what I'm actually going to do this time is I'm going to spray it on that side which is probably what I should have done the first time because then it can't get onto the outside edge. But I've just put up a piece of cardboard there just to protect the, uh, the socket so okay. Now, 
Now you may have noticed, I made a bit of a mistake then. I picked up the black and I sprayed a coat of black over the top of it, or at least in the middle section. I then immediately went back over it with the red, um, thinking that was gonna correct it, which of course it's not going to. Um, but actually it's quite nice. So I think I might just go with that and see, yeah, see what it's like when it's finished. Um, okay, so I need to wait for that to dry again. Um, and then we can do the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some Danish oil. Okay, uh, let's leave that for uh, until tomorrow now. Okay, so it's a couple of days later and I have several coats of Danish oil, a couple of coats of uh, Hampshire Sheen high gloss and a final coat of microcrystalline wax. So now it's time to carve out the inside of the bowl. Um, I've already marked roughly where I, I expected to do it. Um, so we're gonna have quite a narrow rim um, compared to like the, the blue bowl that I did, but anyway, let's get it carved out. down to 240 now so I'm going to use some Yorkshire grit to finish it off on my previous video when I did the the blue sycamore bowl I did the Yorkshire grit and then the sanding sealer and a couple of people pointed out to me that that's not the right way to do it you should do sand to 240 then apply your sanding sealer then use Yorkshire grit so that's what I'm going to do this time Okay, now that's all buffed up, um, I've put it back on for my lawnmower chuck and it's time to get rid of the tenon. And here we have the finished piece. So, the only things that I have noticed are the die has come through. Um, so, let me show that to you. Hopefully that's in focus. The dye has come through some of the grain, but that's to be expected. Um, I went back over the uh, over the back in the end and just took another another cut off to get rid of the overspray. Um, so yeah, that's that's come out really nice. I'm really pleased with that. Um, nice shape, um, much smaller rim than the the, the blue uh, sycamore that I did, um, which actually I, I quite like that. Actually, I actually think it looks quite nice. So anyway, that's the completed bowl. Um, I say couple of rings on the back and my my logo just for a little bit of decoration um, so thank you very much for watching um, if this is your first time here then you know please feel free to subscribe um, for those of you existing subscribers thank you very much your support is really appreciated don't forget to leave a comment click like and share and I'll see you again soon for the next video